Hello friends, welcome back and in today's Excel video, we are going to learn that how to get today date in Power Query. Well, this is applicable for Power Query for Excel as well as for the Power BI. And we are going to see two different solutions where the first solution will be totally with the UI interface and the second will be writing a little bit of M code. So let's get started. In Excel, we have this amazing function which is called today. So basically this will return as a today date. So right now I'm getting this date as 6th of June based on my system date. Now let us go and grab this information in Power Query. To do that, we have to make sure that it is stored in a parameter table or we can just uh, define name to that one and we can pull it into the Power Query. To do that, you can even go to the formulas. You can go define name, but the easiest way is going to the name box and just type today date awesome so whenever this cell is moves anywhere in your workbook or worksheet this will always hold the name as today date so let's go and see in the drop down list we have today date and it got selected now let's go and grab this data in power query you can just right click and get data from table slash range or you can go to data and from table slash range so our data is loaded into the query editor and now when we expand this query pane we can see that define name today date is over here as a connection now we can even rename the query if you wish to do that i'm happy with the name which is over here we have this change type step which i'm going to reverse it because we are having the time over here we just need only the date so right click go change type and just select the date even you can just select the column, go to transform and select the date as date type. Now just select the row number one, clicking it on the white space area, right click and select drill down. Now this is as a parameter and now you can use this date today date anywhere in your query. So let me show you just by saying the new query as a blank query. And now I will just simply say equals to today date and we have the today date over here so maybe you need to filter some records or you need to apply some kind of a filter you can use this parameter value and apply the filters let me remove this query now the most important thing my friend that this value is already stored as a parameter so now we need to go close and load to and make this as a connection only so if you load it as a table it will make a new table in the workbook and we don't need that so we can just say connection only the most important thing, my friend, and when you're doing it with this way, make sure that your data is stored always in your parameter table or whenever your defined name is there, you always have that value. If it doesn't have it, then when you try to refresh your report or any kind of filtering you're doing it, then the query might break. So always keep this today date as today function because it's a volatile. When I'll open the workbook tomorrow, I get the new date. In the second method, we are going to do it by writing the M formula. So let me open the query editor in Power BI. Well, this can be also done in Excel Power Query, but I would just like to show it to you that how can we do it in the Power BI. So right click and say new, and I will call this as a blank query. When you have the blank query, just simply type equals to local now. That's the easiest way to remember. So local now you have to select date time dot local now not the fixed one so we are going to say local now and just open and close parentheses enter and we got the current date of the system and the time now we just need to grab the date from this one so i'm just simply going to write another function saying date time dot date that's pretty cool open parentheses and just close this one, enter, and we got the date. Now just let us rename this one, saying this as today date. This piece of formula allows you to extract the today date of the system. And you can simply do the same way in Excel, just creating a blank query and just paste this formula and it will work seamlessly. Well, in Power BI, just make sure that you select this query, make this as disable load and then you hit close and apply so that will not load it into the data model in fact it will be always in the power query 
So that's all my friends and I hope this video would be helpful for you. I'll be sharing the link in the below video description where you can download these files and you can work around it and in fact uh, in the exercise file for the excel I'll be keeping this M language as well and PBX file as well. Make sure that you hit the like button, share this video and let me know in the coming days what you'd like to see in the park query. Till then, take care, happy learning, bye.